good morning my fraternity of earth movers in the previous communication of this series we discussed about materials in general and energy materials in specific we left the previous communication by saying that we will be continuing with the oxidizer for high energy materials and its application again in the earth moving operation or mining operation we all know what an oxidizer is we have studied oxidizer and oxidizing agents in detail in our high school science classes so we will not be going into the details of all those again here and at the same time we will be recalling the application aspects of the oxidizers in this communication an oxidizer is basically a substance or a material or a chemical that itself gets reduced during the redox reaction by gaining electron and at the same time it releases oxygen in opulence now in this context the nitrates chlorates and perchlorates of ammonium ion and also the nitrates chlorates and perchlorates of alkali and alkali earth metals are good oxidizers for use in explosive formulations because they fulfill every need of getting reduced in the redox reaction and generating oxygen but in general we have seen that ammonium nitrate is mostly used in energy material be it water gel slurry explosive or emulsion explosive or n4 so we will deliberate in little detail about that why not other materials cannot be can why not other materials be used as oxidizers and how effectively these ox oxidizers can be used so in the next few minutes we will cover those aspects thank you we are making this communication from the view point of application of oxidizer in high energy material so higher is the output of gaseous product better is considered as the oxidizer the same view point it is also to be remembered that an oxidizer can be solid or liquid or gaseous but often in this particular case like application of oxidizer in the high energy material oxidizers are solids and they initiate they get initiated without external energy oxidizers are a severe fire hazard oxidizers are not necessarily combustible calcium nitrate is a good oxidizer but it is not combustible but at the same time it can intensify like any other oxidizer combustion and increase the flammable range for chemicals so they ignite more readily so for an oxidizer to be useful and effective in high energy material applications the oxidizer should have certain unique characteristics we will be considering all those unique characteristics in the subsequent few slides the first characteristic of an oxidizer to be used in high energy material and explosive for rock blasting is that it should be compatible with other input materials be it oxidizer of other types or other fuels and sensitizers used in the formulation the new oxidizer should dissolve in the aqueous medium with ease that means the oxidizer should be water soluble because most of the explosives and high energy materials used for rock blasting operations are are manufactured using two different phases and one of the phases is the aqueous phase safety is of utmost importance while dealing and manufacturing explosives for rock blasting operations so it is very important that the oxidizer which is planned or introduced in manufacture of explosive should not initiate an exothermic reaction during the preparation of the oxidizer blend the previous three characteristics of the oxidizer that we discussed are of very much importance while manufacturing explosive or manufacturing the oxidizer blend to manufacture explosive now this is also important that after the explosive is manufactured 
it is it should get decomposed with minimal activation energy then only it becomes an effective and useful oxidizer we all know that oxygen factor is one of the important characteristics for every material used in manufacture of explosive so it is also important that the new oxidizer or the oxidizer chosen to manufacture explosive should have good oxygen factor so that it will be easier to manage and improve the oxygen factor or the total oxygen balance of the explosive for mining use another desired characteristic of an oxidizer is that it should generate oxygen on thermal decomposition because the generated oxygen gets used in the burning of the fuels in the formulation and the total chemical reaction takes place in one of the previous slides just a few minutes back we discussed that there are usually two phases in manufacture of explosive one is the aqueous phase and the other one is the solid fuel phase or the liquid fuel phase the solid fuel phase is present in case of the uh, slurry explosives water gel explosives and the liquid fuel phase is present in the case of the manufacture of emulsion explosives so an oxidizer should be such or the property of the oxidizer should be such that the crystal developments in the gel or emulsion should not get initiated because of that particular oxidizer after all manufacturing of explosive for rock blasting operation is to make profit in the business so is the case in the case of mining operations also so it is of utmost importance that the cost competitiveness of the proposed and the oxidizer used are there so that both explosive manufacturing as well as the mining operation is sustained so the last point that comes to my mind regarding the oxidizer selection is that the oxidizer should be safe easy to use and also be cheap or cost competitive so that it improves the business or it improves business efficiency and the entrepreneur take interest in manufacturing a good quality of the product so when the subject is application of oxidizers in energy materials and explosives there is a plethora of parameters that need consideration this particular visual communication is becoming little longer and i do not want this communication to test your patience in hearing i remain here but i will come back with the third part of this communication where we will be again discussing about the oxidizers but other than the oxidizers that contain nitrates chlorates and perchlorates of ammonium ion alkali metals and alkaline earth metals thank you so much for your patience hearing bye